Uh, hello everyone, welcome to another video. So uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix an unresponsive key on a Rocket Vulcan keyboard, okay? So I've owned this keyboard for probably about three years, okay? And um, I just recently started noticing that the, uh, the button number four specifically has uh, started not uh, being responsive. Now I have uh, since fixed this problem with my keyboard key and um, so I'm hoping to be able to provide a solution to you who may also own the same keyboard or a mechanical keyboard alike and um, hopefully this might help you out a little bit. So um, what you're going to want to do is uh, just go ahead and uh, just pop out your number four. Um, I've got a game running in the background. But um, pop out your number four key or whatever key it is for you that's not working. And um, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to get some uh, isopropyl alcohol, preferably, or methylated spirits. I mean, they're, they're both alcohol-based anyways. And um, you're going to want to get a Q-tip, right? And you're going to just dip that in right there like that and uh, get it nice and wet, okay? And then uh, you're going to just soak this key. You're going to just soak that key like that, okay? And you might have to do this a couple of times. You might have to do it a couple of times. So get it like that. I'm just going to show you for the video. Methylated spirits is harmless on um, electronics. It's not going to cause any problems. So you see how that key sort of soaking it in? And then you're just going to go ahead and you're just going to press it a few times and just get it going through, get it clean, get it going nice. Just like that, and you're just gonna, you know, wiggle it around a little bit. Just, you know, be a bit violent. It's okay to be violent sometimes. Um, and uh, hopefully, you'll notice now on here my number four button. It's uh, it's working very good again. It's working as if it was brand new, and uh, I no longer have this problem. Now I since I since tried this about ten minutes ago before my key. Uh, was uh, when it was broken and uh, this has solved my problem. This has uh, made my life a lot better. So uh, yeah, methylated spirits or isopropyl alcohol guys. And uh, like I said, just remove your key, punch it in here, tuck it in and just tap it down and soak it up and uh, yeah, get it working in there. And then uh, when you're done, and if you notice the difference, go ahead, pop your number four button back on or whatever button it is and uh, you're good to go. And uh, your keyboard will now work, hopefully. Uh, and if that doesn't fix your problem, then uh, uh, unfortunately, my friend, it might be something else. It might be uh, perhaps something's come loose with the soldering in your board. And uh, yeah, don't ask me how to fix that because I'm not very good at soldering. So, um, But this, this here, this here is uh, now working. You know, I was almost contemplating buying a new keyboard, but I thought to myself, well, you know, it's responding, okay? The keyboard was responding. However, the key... Uh, it, it just wasn't, you know, it wasn't responding every time. Like I would press it, right? I would just press it and it wouldn't work. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. I'd have to really press it like hard, right? And that and that's obviously not ideal, right? So um, yeah, I thought, you know, one last resort, I'll try soaking it with some alcohol. And uh, yeah, that did the trick. That did the trick. So yeah, I hope this video helped. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. And uh, yeah, like the video and uh, leave a comment if this helped you. All right, peace out.